here we are. We're in the final module in this section on open systems. So here we're talking about designing for emergence. Uh, emergence is a very big idea in systems thinking. Um, without top-down control being imposed on the by the designer, what we aim for is order in the system to emerge, um, very similar to the process of self-organization that is um, an emergent process. And uh, this is what we see in, in complex systems of all kinds. So we're asking how can we actually uh, work with that instead of um, imposing order, uh, working with uh, local interactions to get the emergence of um, order. Um, so this would be an example, traffic and traffic jams. Um, it's a complex adaptive system, uh, has many um, adaptive agents in it, right? We can't really fully control those people. Um, so we're going to uh, have to work with what emerges, creating the context again, working with the context um, and the patterns that will emerge uh, out of their interactions uh, like traffic jams and so forth. Um, so not just uh, traffic jams, but also um, producers in the supply chain or people in organizations and so forth. Um, emergence is a pretty universal uh, phenomenon uh, in all complex, complex systems. Um, so it's action driven. We do not try to impose order, instead create the conditions that are right for it to emerge out of the interactions of the agents and the system themselves. Um, yeah, again, it's parallel, it's parallel to um, self-organization. It's about the interaction incentives of the agents in the system. Um, that will lead to the emergence of the overall uh, outcomes that we're looking for. So key features of emergence, um, it is a different concept to self-organization um, and it's about how the future unfolds and there's high levels of uncertainty in that. We can't predict or plan really what's gonna happen. So the future, the, the fact that the future emerges is a key source of the fundamental uncertainty within complex systems. If we take something like the internet, we do not know what future technologies will be built on the network, nor how those technologies will combine to form new possibilities, right? That's uh, the internet is an open system, going back to that, um, what we're talking about in this section. And because it's an open system, because it's not a bit of closed software that's owned by Microsoft, um, we can build things on the internet, right? And we've done a lot of that. And those systems that were built on the internet haven't stayed separate, they're combined and they're, they're put together and recombined in many different ways um, to get the emergence of um, new outcomes that you know, Tim Bernard-Lee and the others who, who developed the underlying protocols, the open protocols that run the internet could not have really predicted what would happen, what would emerge on top of that and all the unforeseen um, systems that have been designed and built um, and so forth. So, that's the key principle here, um, emergence, that we have to let the future unfold and not fully plan for it. And this world of complexity, the future of the system emerges and it's unknown. For this, we should not design based upon a fix, fixed plan or roadmap, um, but must create space for um, self-organization and emergence and unforeseen outcomes. Needless to say, as the future is uncertain, we need to design systems in a way that is open to the emergence of different outcomes that we may not be able to foresee. So this is the principle of emergence with complex adaptive systems. We need to create designs that make space for um, different pathways to unfold and new things to emerge as the system develops over time. <clears throat> 